Hi friends, welcome to .NET Mob. This is my second video tutorial in the series of SQL Server tutorials for beginners. In the previous video, we have discussed how to connect SQL Server database using Management Studio. I have put the video link in the video description. In this video, we will discuss how to create, rename, and drop SQL Server database. So let's get started. Let me connect to my SQL Server instance. So here inside this object explorer, here you can see the connected instances. If you can't see this object explorer, you can go to view, then click on object explorer here. If you expand this, you can see databases. If you expand databases, you can see system databases. Below that you can see some of the databases. These are the databases comes with SQL Server installation. Now let's check how to create databases in SQL Server. To create databases in SQL Server, we have two ways. One way is to use graphical interface of Management Studio and other way is to use the TSQL query. Let me create a database using the graphical interface. For that, right click on databases, then click on new database. It will open a dialog box like this. Here we need to name the database. In this case, I will name it as example1. Then click on OK. Then under databases, you should see the database example1. Now let's check how to create SQL databases using TSQL. For that, click on this new query here or you can use the shortcut Ctrl N. Query syntax is simple. It will start like this. Create database, then database name. Here I will create a database with name example2. In order to execute this query, you need to click on this execute button here or you can use the shortcut F5. So here we have created the database with name example2. In order to see the newly created database, click on this databases, then click on this refresh button or right click on databases, then click on refresh. So here we have the uh, database example2. We have created two databases simply using graphical interface and SQL query. For each SQL Server database, there are two types of files associated with them. One is MDF file and other one is LDF file. You can see their location. For that, right click on the database, then click on property. Then select files from the left panel. Here you can see the files. First one is the example. So it will be of the type MDF then example 2 underscore log. Here you can see the uh, files location. Let me copy the location by clicking Ctrl C and pasting here. So the location looks like this. So here you can see the MDF and LDF file physically. Now what is meant by this MDF and LDF file? Actually MDF stands for master data file and LDF stands for log data file. MDF is the primary file. It contains all the primary objects like tables, views, stored procedures, etc. An LDF file hold or log information so that we can use the LDF file later for recovery purpose. Now back to our discussion how these files saved here. We have not specified any file directory or location during our database creation. There will be a folder with name data inside our SQL Server installation file directory. And if we are not specifying any location for our database, those databases will be saved here. 
Now let me show you how we can create a database by specifying file location. For that back to management studio then right click on databases the new database. Database name will be example 3. So in this table here you can see a column with name path and here you can select the location where you want to save the uh, folder click on ok this is because we don't have the uh, access uh, permission to the uh, data folder click on ok it will open a dialog box to select the uh, directory i want to save the uh, database inside my folder example 3 click on ok and here we selected the path for saving MDF file. In most of the case, we want to save the LDF file in the same directory. So I will paste the same uh, directory here also. Click on OK. So inside my example 3 folder, you can see the MDF and LDF file corresponding to our database example 3. Next, we are going to discuss how to drop or rename a database. Before that, we need to set the database into single user mode. Now, what is meant by single user mode? If you are the only one connected to a database, the database is already in single user mode. Suppose you are working in a developing environment you and your colleagues are working on a same database then we need to set that uh, database into single user mode before doing any of these operation single user mode will tell the sql server to close others connection and you will be the only one connected to the database in order to set a database into single user mode you can use this query alter database then database name set single user with rollback immediate here we need to give the database name and this line tells the sql server to roll back currently running operation suppose your friend is running a query to update a table or running a long query it would be a problem if we are going to close his connection in between the operation so with this line we can avoid the problem rollback immediate statement it will stop currently running operation and it will roll back the uh, initial state of the database so now we are in safe zone we can do operations like rename or drop a database now i'm going to set this example 3 database in single user mode for that I can replace the DB name with example3. In order to execute the query, select the query, click on execute or press F5. So we have set the single user mode for example3 database and now close this uh, window. Refresh the databases folder. Now you can see that example 3 is in a single user mode. We can set this database back into multi user mode, then only others can connect to this database. Like I said, example 3 database is saved inside example 3 folder, and we are going to rename this uh, database. There also we have two way graphical interface and TSQL query. Using graphical interface, we can use the shortcut F2 to rename a database like we rename files in our file explorer. Or you can right click on the database, then click on rename. I want to rename this database as example 3 new. Click enter, it will be uh, renamed successfully. So back to our folder, you can see that the database uh, name or the MDF and LDF file name will not change it will be same only the database name will be renamed okay 
now let me try to rename this example to database for that click on new query first of all we need to set this uh, database into single user mode for that you can write query something like this auto database example 2 set single user single underscore user then with rollback immediate let me run the query refresh the databases example 2 database in single user mode in order to rename a database SQL server syntax is like this alter database then db name then modify name to new name so here in this case we have example 2 and then I am gonna rename the database into example 2 new select the query click on execute so we have renamed the database to example 2 new select databases click on refresh so here we have renamed the example 2 database to new name finally we are going to learn how to drop or delete databases in sql server there are two ways to do that using graphical interface and using sql query so before dropping or deleting a database we need to bring that database into single user mode if you are going to delete a database using graphical interface you don't need to bring that database into single user mode you can do that from graphical interface itself now i'm going to delete this example one database for that select the database example one then click on delete button or right click on database then click on delete here it will open a dialog box like this there you can see the database that we are going to delete in the bottom section you can see a checkbox to close existing connections into this database so it will do the same as that of single user mode click on ok so example one database is deleted when we delete a database the mdf and ldf file associated with the database will be deleted from its directory now let me try to delete or drop a database from sql server using query for that select databases then click on new query here make sure that you selected master database from this drop down before dropping a database you need to make sure that the database is in single user mode in this case the database is already in single user mode so we can write the query sql syntax for dropping a database will be like this drop <coughs> database then db name in this case you can type the enter db name here or you can drag database from object explorer into the place then click on execute here so we have deleted the database successfully now click on databases then click on this refresh button here so the database example 2 new is deleted now we have example 3 new here you may need to bring this database back into multi-user mode then only others can use this database for that you need to execute the query alter database then drag the database into this place then set multi underscore user then click on execute now if you select the database then click on refresh the single user mode is changed into multi user here that's it guys in this video we have discussed how to create 
database in SQL Server, how to rename a database and finally we discussed how to drop database in SQL Server. In the next video we will learn how to work with SQL Server tables. Please be subscribed to my channel .NET Mob for awesome videos like this. Don't forget to comment your feedback in the comment box below. Please like and share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can benefit from this. Have a nice day. Bye.